iOS 26 is finally here with lots of new features, but today I don't want to show you the obvious design changes and features. Instead, I want to show you the hidden but really useful functions that you probably don't know yet. Let's start with a battery tip. When you put your iPhone on charge, the lock screen now finally shows how long it will take until it's fully charged. Also in the settings it shows if you're using a slow charger. Strangely, the screen only shows how long it takes to reach 80%. If you want to know the time until 100%, you need to go into settings, then battery and there you will see the time until full charge. Tip 2 is very subtle but really cool, once you know it's there. Widgets, icons and the dock now have a shimmer effect when you tilt the phone. Most people already know that you can turn your lock screen photo into a 3D picture with the new spatial scene feature. But did you know that you can now turn any photo from your gallery into such a 3D photo? You just tap on a small button up here and after a few seconds the photo already looks much more alive. The next new feature is a must known if you use the alarm on your iPhone. From now on you can set the snooze duration yourself. Until now it was always fixed at 9 minutes and could not be changed. Now for every alarm you can choose a snooze time between 1 and 15 minutes. If the new liquid glass design looks too messy for you, you can easily change that in the settings. Go to accessibility, then display and text size and then reduce transparency. This makes a big difference in readability, especially in the control center. Tip number 6. Safari now has three different layouts to choose from. To find them, go to settings, then Safari and scroll down a bit. Here you can choose between compact, which look like this bottom, which is similar to what you are used to but with a floating style, and the last one called top, where the search bar is placed at the top. I personally like the compact the most because it allows more space for the website content since most functions are hidden. When you start scrolling in compact mode, the bar at the bottom becomes even smaller, giving you a full screen safari experience. Speaking of a full screen experience, I noticed that the home bar line now disappears after a few seconds. Before, the line was always visible. If you use Apple Music on your iPhone, you can now create folders for playlists. This makes it much easier to organize your playlists. Also, Apple Music in general got a design update. If you like watching videos or listening to music at night, there is now a new setting called Reduce Loud Sounds. As the name says, it lowers loud sounds so you don't get starlit at night. Of course, you can also use the setting during the day. The next tip can help if your battery often doesn't last long enough. In settings, under battery, if you scroll down and tap on power mode, you will find a new feature called adaptive power. When you turn this on, your iPhone can automatically change settings to save battery, like lowering performance or brightness. You can also choose to be notified when adaptive power makes changes. The controls in the phone app have been redesigned. If you don't like the new look, you can switch back to the classic layout. Just tap on the three lines at the top and select the design you prefer. Apple brought the preview app to the iPad with iPad OS 26. But what many don't know is that the new preview app is also available on the iPhone. With it, you can open, edit and fill out PDFs. What's cool is that you also get the pen tools from the iPad here just without Apple Pencil support. One of my favorite features in iOS 26 is the update in the Wallet app. You can now see real-time data about your flight, just like in the Flightly app. The cool part is that that live data also shows up in your dynamic island. Until now, you could send and receive emergency message via satellite. 
The new thing is that you can now also get real-time weather updates through satellite without any internet connection. If you choose focus modes for private and work, you can now set call filters. This way, during work hours, only calls from your business number will come through and after work only calls from your private number will reach you. While we are on the SIM topic, until now you could only transfer eSIMs from one iPhone to another. Now you can also transfer eSIMs from Android devices or even send them to Android. The screenshot tools have also changed a bit. The pen tools don't pop up automatically anymore Instead, there is now a new Apple Intelligence button at the bottom right, which lets you see and copy text or other information from the screenshot. I also have another useful screenshot tip. If you go to Settings, then General, then Screenshots, you can now turn on HDR screenshots. In the Files app, you can now expand and collapse folders with a small arrow, without opening the whole folder. This is super handy. In iMessage, you can now finally select specific text. Just press and hold on a message, then tap select. After that, you can highlight and copy the exact text you want. If you like to personalize your contact cards, iOS 26 now gives you even more options, like different fonts, background colors and pre-made styles. In the Apple Passwords app, you can now check your password history. This is especially helpful if a website asks for previous passwords to restore your account. You can also delete the history if you don't need it anymore. The phone app got even more upgrades. In settings, on the phone, you can now have unknown numbers checked. If you enable ask for reason of call, unknown calls are picked up by an automatic voice that asks what the caller wants. You can see in real time what the caller says and then decide if you want to take the call. Even cooler is the hold assist. This lets you do something else while you're on hold. And once someone picks up, your iPhone rings again. Those were my favorite hidden iOS 26 features. What's your favorite new functions? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye!